Hello. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to add a video uh, into your streaming or into your recording using OBS Studio. And uh, it's actually pretty simple once you figure it out. It took me a while to figure it out, so uh, no, <laughs> no real credit to me other than persistence. Uh, anyway, here we go. This is what it would look like, the finished product. We have over here one scene, which is the one on the right, which is my desktop, in this case the browser. And then over to the left, I have a video of my daughter's pet mouse, Jimmy. All right, so, and this is a video. If I hit transition, you'll see it starts playing. There's the video. Okay, and if I go back again, then obviously the, the two items swap. So anyway, this is what you want to end up with. And now I'm going to take some of these things out so I can show you how we got there. So I have the video. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to remove it. Yes, I want to remove the video. Okay, so now the only scene that I have left down here in Scenes is Firefox. That, that's the browser I'm using. All right, now I want to add the video, and I want to get it to play. So it's, it's actually pretty straightforward, like I say, once you figure it out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click on the plus sign. And in this case, since I it'll default to the scene that you haven't used before. So this defaults to scene two for a title. I'm going to put... J-I-M-M-I-E, because Jimmy is a little girl mouse. So, okay. And now I'm going to come down here, and for the scene, I need to add the source for that scene. So I'm going to hit the plus button to put in a source. In this case, I'm going to go with a media source. All right, I'm going to have a new media source. And again, it just defaults to media source. Again, I can say, Jimmy in hand. Sounds like a good title, because this is new. And I'm going to click OK. Now, in this case, this is a local file, which it defaults to immediately. I'm going to click on Browse. And I just happen to have this set up. And I have the file right on my desktop. It's this file here. So I'm going to double click on it. That puts the file in. Now, here, if you want this to loop continuously when it's on, you would click Loop. I don't want that to happen. If you want it to restart every time the source becomes active, in other words, every time the focus turns back to your video. You want it to restart, which is something I do want. If you want it to come back to wherever you left off, then you uncheck this. Uh, you can use hardware decoding. I don't need to here. The video works just fine. Now, show nothing when playback ends. I'm going to uncheck that because then all you get is a black screen in your preview window uh, when you're not running it. And that to me, I, no, I want to know what I've got out there to work with. So I want to see the, uh, the opening to the video so I can just, you know, it's easier to keep track of things. So I'm going to go OK. Now, I should be able to click on Jimmy and see this. I don't know why it works like this, but it does. I click on, I get nowhere. OK, I click on Firefox. It comes back to the pre transition window. If I click transition one time, oh, no, nope, that didn't work either. OK, see what I'm saying? I'm not sure how this works. Now I click on Jimmy. Now I click transition, and there we go. Now I've got Jimmy. Now, Jimmy, you'll notice, is, is small. That's the default window. I'm going to click the transition again. I want Jimmy to be full size like the other one, so I just grab and expand it to full size. Once I get down to the bottom, now I'm just going to grab it and center it a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now when I hit transition again, there we go, I've got Jimmy at full size. So this is it, and I go back if I want to transition again, and I'm on my desktop just to show you that the browser works real good. Okay, I'm going to go over here, go on my browser, I'll type in uh, test to demonstrate, oops, put that E in there, and then we'll go back to OBS, and you can see that there it is, it's typed in. So yes, uh, it will grab your browser as you're actually doing things on it. And again, once I transition back, there we go, we got Jimmy once again. And that's really how you set it up. Uh, there may be more things to it, but that's, to me, it, it works, it works fine. A little bit of playing around to get the scene to come up, I don't know why it is that way, but it's easy enough to just click back and forth till you get it. So. That's it.